with six just up uh, gonna head down to the start race line now have to try and get my feet back into a pair of shoes so pulled up quite well I'll do another little video on that now shortly but just wanted to kind of show you the Oh my goodness, just kind of swollen up but I'm big, resting my feet aren't too bad. A bit of a blister in the sole. Left foot or right foot. All in all, feet's not too bad. Can I walk on them? Uh, left Achilles is very very sore so it's going to be bad for a few days but more of an update very short. So I've got compression socks on to try and help the day after. It's uh, Sunday morning but this one you can feel it, it kind of gets in got plenty of room. This one has to swole up too much and it's hurting my foot. So I need to take off my shoes, maybe just leave my socks. Which is a problem whenever you have to walk and go places. gonna take a bit of work. Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. A quick update, it is Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, uh, five to six. So finished the race obviously on Saturday, which was nice. Now that I get a chance to talk, a uh, really good finish in the race so early in the day. Then, <coughs> Saturday we waited around the finishing line for a good bit. Got some sleep Saturday evening. Five of us in a four person camper van, which was a bit, a bit claustrophobic. Uh, didn't sleep great. Got a few hours, but uh, had to get up to use the toilet quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so then yesterday, quick get up, quick pack up from the campsite. Uh, busy getting up the road without without the camper actually being, or to get it off hired again. So uh, very sore still yesterday for walking on my left Achilles. Uh, it's kind of it blows my mind actually that it's so sore to walk on now yet I was able to push on run and walking uh, during the race from about 90k onwards you'll see in, in the previous videos uh, but yeah look uh, quick update Achilles is still very red out around here uh, quite a lot of heat coming off it just a touch so I have uh, I have an ice pack, which is a good thing about being home late yesterday evening. I was able to ice it yesterday evening. Get some ice on it now and uh, get some cream and get it rubbed out a little bit, maybe depending. Uh, and yeah, that's that's really that's really it. And that's really my only my only real issue. Big toe, I suppose, on the same side where there's a blister. Still in on it. Did the same last year for some reason. Uh, no doubt I will lose the nail. But apart from them two things, a little blister under the sole of the foot. I pulled up really well. So really happy with how the body's held up. And I'll probably go more into detail on the race. Uh, race kind of briefing. Briefing too early in the morning. Uh, in how the race went, I'll do that in a in a whole separate video. So, look, 
just an update let you know what to expect after the days after running a 200 mile as i say yesterday very painful walking around uh just with the achilles uh my other foots are kind of stiff but moved perfectly well my right leg um i felt tired i felt hungry couldn't stop eating yesterday uh it was quite busy because we had like leave early in the morning we had a long five hour drive to get back to Perth, then another drive back down to the, the camper van off. So, thinking back, I probably would plan it slightly different next year. Uh, I left Suki off back to the airport. So, as I say, busy day. It was nice to get in here yesterday evening about six o'clock and just kind of go, oh, I'm home. Good night, sleep in my own bed last night. Uh, hi everybody welcome back Wednesday the 26th uh, so that would leave finish the race on Saturday so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday four days into the recovery period can't use my fingers for those that didn't figure that out uh, four days into the recovery period how has it been going uh, yesterday moved around a good bit more trying to get boxes unpacked from the car uh, do some tidying up I think we got not an awful lot but some so probably a couple of hours on my feet the rest of the day I spent mostly icing uh, the Achilles and trying to stretch and put it on the uh, spiky ball which was very sore uh, today it is still quite bruised in around this area quite lumpy just along this side of the Achilles uh, kind of just bruised around here but stiff so I have been rubbing it icing it, elevating it, all the usual things a lot better to walk on today than it has been before uh, how's the rest of my body feeling? my right hand side of my body is good uh, really no real issues my uh, feet have still got these kind of not sure if they're coming through but kind of speckly spots from the inflammation uh, these cuts are just from the bushes on the kind of trail so then you get the same kind of dots and spots down through the thing black toenail where the blister was is healing up not too bad it's definitely been able to be touched and moved which is good uh, so all in all the body is healing quickly uh, which is good the Achilles is definitely still swollen nowhere near as bad as it was uh, that will take a little bit more time to heal and uh, yeah, plan today is do a little bit more around the house, move around my feet a bit more. Part of me would like to go for a run, but I know that would be dumb as bad shit. So I'll uh, I'll not do that until my Achilles uh, sorts itself out. So I achieved one goal this year of my under eight hours, but my goal of running every day has took a bashing since the race with this injury. So. Uh, still have to put the rest of the year in perspective no point in going out trying to run on it and uh, calling it a run whenever it wouldn't be so start from scratch again whenever I do get running again and uh, try and build the consistency back up uh, other than that generally feel feel tired this morning head still a little bit light I've just shoveled a smoothie into me and some calories in uh, <coughs> to see if excuse me <coughs> the immune system must be shot to shit because cold uh, mouse ulcers since the race definitely a bit better today sore throat uh, as I was finishing the race kind of the Friday and the Saturday of the race I don't know whether it's just so much things going into the mouth or maybe the sand from the sand dunes or whatever but my mouth was uh, and throat was very sore 
Saturday, Sunday after the race, find it hard to swallow. So that's improving, but bit of a cough, bit of a thing, a bit of a kind of sneeze and stuff I got there. Just as I say, I know the immune system is as low as it can go, so it just shows you how much a kind of event like this does take out of the race or take out of the body. So plan is still to eat healthy. Uh, get plenty of the right vitamins into the body again and uh, yeah bounce back as soon as I can so that's a quick update uh, on how the body's doing might do one more uh, or two more as, as we go on but uh, certainly four days after the race uh, feeling better uh, uh, got so as I said, got some sleep this last few nights. Uh, still feel very tired. Whenever I sit down to take a rest or stop or do anything, I feel like I'm gonna go. So that could just be from the deep sleep deprivation that I put myself into. So yeah, that's that's the latest update. Chat soon. Hi everybody, welcome back. So today is day five, Thursday, uh, from recovery. <coughs> How am I feeling today? Uh, a little bit flat, I suppose. Uh, tired still. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, <coughs> tired. I have been kind of doing up race report all day, so that might be why I'm tired. Uh, in terms of how I'm feeling, the Achilles is my only issue at the moment. So it's still quite hard and lumpy in here. I am using spiky ball, ice, uh, rub, all the usual things to try and get it to heal. Uh, much better than it has been walking now without any real limp so from that point of view really really good uh right side no issues at all little tingling in my feet but certainly nothing uh nothing of any concern got to meditation and yoga last night with my lovely wife louise uh for an hour which was good uh more yoga tonight which will hopefully get me another little bit further closer to recovery uh, so all in all recovery is going fairly well uh, starting to get to the stage where I suppose I'm thinking about what's next and whenever I know you some though but uh, yeah look as I say quick update day five I'll uh, I'll get sorry I'll get these put together again uh, fairly soon and make one big recovery session from it. Uh, no doubt I could be on the bike as of today. <laughs> Planned it, but maybe tomorrow. So uh, keep us updated. Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, day. Six of the recovery. Today's Friday, the whatever. <laughs> Six days after the delirious west. As you can see, back out. Easy run this morning, so recovery. I wouldn't say fully fully completed, but it's probably the last video I'll do on up for now. The uh, legs feel quite heavy quad deep fatigue in them the feet feel a little bit numb while running not gonna lie still a few tingle and sensation going on down there so that's happening my Achilles my lovely Achilles on the left uh, yesterday first day without kind of limping around walking on it 
today. Slightly painful to run, but on a scale of 1 out of 10, you know I love my scale of 1 out of 10. I would say a 2 or a 3, running my fingers down over the Achilles, still a bit of a bump and some, don't know what the technical term is it, goo, grit, lump, whatever you want to call it, hanging around down there. So the plan is to give it a bit of a rub out, continue the ice, continue the spiky ball, and uh, we get it back to some sort of normality. So I do feel like it's probably most of the important capture the recovery done in these last few videos. The uh, he, as I say, for a believer in good food, as one of the things that'll help with the recovery. To movement. Yes, it's only a 2K run today, but I will work and build on that from after today. So they're just some of the things. Elevation, compression to work well, uh, ice has worked well this week. So, I really suppose it's just a continuation of what you were doing before this. Don't sit around too long, don't uh, stay in bed, your feet up too long, get that movement, get that walking around. If you have a serious injury, and everything will seem serious after a 200 mile of burns, go get it looked at, go get it inspected. Chances are your doctor will tell you, you're crazy, you've just done 200 miles. Uh, but go through that process if it helps. And uh, yeah, as soon as we can, and then get back on the old running horse. And living the dream again so look uh, I hope you found this little video on recovery after a 200 mile are useful uh, I'm sure you'll agree pain's not really that worse than the race that you expected so hopefully it won't put anybody off doing it next year or doing another race of this event and uh, See you next time. Thanks for watching.